What's up guys? Up here today at Cape Perpetua, meeting up with Mark, my friend Mark. You guys probably remember Mark from, uh, he had the the uh, Sprinter uh, camper van, Sprinter camper van. We're gonna go on a on a different hike today, one that, I, one that I've never been on. I'm gonna take you along with that. Uh, this is the parking lot up here. There's a really cool teardrop, teardrop trailer up here. A um, lot of hiking to do, a lot of hiking trails up here. The visitor center is down there. Really, really cool visitor center with a really awesome view of the ocean. Like, one, really awesome view. Restrooms right down there. But uh, check out this teardrop, teardrop trailer. This thing cool or what? Teardrops Northwest. back end just folds up makes like a cook cooking station in the rear it's got large off-road tires for good ground clearance that's like a, a cargo carrying rack up top with a vent a little vent up top that's a really nice rig I like it uh, this is a fee area you do there's a fee required I've got a America the beautiful pass I'll take you guys out here on the deck and show you the view. Restrooms here, looks like they're they're cleaning them right now. I've done this one before, the giant spruce trail. Giant spruce. I think this is the one we're gonna do today, Cook's, Cook's Ridge Trail. Goes all the way around. <clears throat> Big blue. Oh, here it is, guys. There it is. Can you hear it? Can you hear the ocean? Check this deck out. It's incredible. Ah, I think that's Mark down there in his van. See? Yep, that's Mark. Road track. So this is Mark. This is the uh, the back of Mark Sprinter. It looks like he's been been he made a few modifications to it since since uh, we last saw it with the with the tour. Uh, do you want to do you want to share what you what you've uh, <clears throat> kind of what what changes you made? Sure. So I took out the electric couch that came with it. This is a road track uh, that was outfitted uh, by that company. So it had a built-in electric couch. You hit a little button and it went down it would make into like a king size bed where you put the table and the other cushions across. What I didn't like about that is that you didn't have enough storage space for all of our toys that we like to take with us. And I don't have much of those in here right now, but um, what, what I saw from a lot of other sprinter builds is when they did their own raised bed, you could actually get a lot more stuff in there. And since we don't have a problem with a permanent bed, it's just the two of us. Uh huh. We have the two swivel seats up front when we're parked, so the seating for two. Um, and having this permanent bed uh, really doesn't get in our way. It actually is more of a help than a hindrance. So we can actually, when we have all of our gear in here, we can have two folding bikes 
an inflatable two-person kayak, an inflatable paddleboard, and all of our other camping gear, chairs, and everything. Um, even a big, you know, screened-in gazebo you can uh, take and put up. Ah. You want to see it from the inside? Sure, sure. Okay. No, it should be okay. Oh yeah. Okay. And that center board comes out, so actually I can get 20 sheets of plywood right down the center aisle here if I needed to. Oh, okay. And I've done that because you know I just helped my daughter build a tiny house. So. Yeah, yeah. I'd like like to uh, hear hear more more, more about that. Yeah, Mark and his daughter just built a, a tiny tiny house, like an, an an actual a real real tiny tiny home. Um with uh, stick built materials yep from scratch from the trailer up but this is a really really nice van i mean i can almost stand all the way up in it microwave bathroom two burner stove two burner stove yeah, the microwave is actually a convection oven too so you have you have that option and it's got mm -hmm. uh the three-way fridge with the propane electric battery so yeah, like I said, tons of gear you can get in here with with this setup, and and we don't mind having the the bed, and that's just upholstery foam that I found on Amazon. Uh huh. Um, a really great company had really good reviews. Oh wow, that's it, nice, firm. Yeah, it's really firm. And huh. Actually, Amazon, huh? Yeah, and you huh. get them in uh, three inch up to six inch, and this is the hmm. six inch foam. Okay. And uh, that actually comes in twenty four inch width so there's three pieces there and I just used a you know electric bread knife to okay contour it to fit in there so mm -hmm. actually I can fold those pieces out and access those side cabinets from the top I built in a little lift door on each on the top of each of those cabinets hmm. and with this height the other thing about this height the first time I built it it was too high but this height's perfect because you can see the knobs for the little windows oh yeah when you open those and I have the max on uh-huh uh, you get a nice constant uh, stream of air coming through. Uh -huh. yeah, it came with a Dometic that I didn't like. Uh -huh. and it, when it went bad, I, I replaced it with the Max fan. Oh, okay, Max fan, huh? Yeah. So what what is the what do you what's the benefits of a Max fan versus Max, like a Fantastic the, fan? Well, the two things that uh, the two benefits that I saw is you can leave it open all the time, even when you're driving, uh. because of the way that the dome is. Uh -huh. It's open right now. And then it has a remote control, so you can actually set the temperature. Oh. Um, and when you hit the button, it opens and, and it regulates the airflow, so it's trying to meet that temperature. Okay. So it, 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 it is a much more efficient. Um, I don't think it has huh. much more draw. Actually, if you want to see a good comparison between the two, uh -huh. um, Jed from Into the Mystery 13, uh -huh. he does a good review of the two when oh. he actually put these this type on the van that he and Evie did. Oh okay. Oh. Oh cool. All right. Well, ready to go do some hiking? Absolutely. All right.